So after chat GPT, uh, right now the talk of the town is about Mojo programming language. And in this past two to three days, I've got a lot of mail from various people to make a video on Mojo programming language to just talk about like how it is different from Python programming language. What are the advantages of using Mojo programming language and many more. I even got a very interesting email yesterday saying that one person was saying that will Mojo programming language take our jobs or not. So guys, don't worry. Nothing is going to take your jobs unless and until you're not getting skilled, right? You don't have to worry about your job, right? So let me go ahead and uh, let me share my screen. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the entire Mojo programming language. Step by step, we'll understand all the components. We'll try to understand why this can be better than Python programming language. But at the end of the day, I'll be making some kind of conclusions that will be my suggestion based on my thinking. You know, it may change with respect to your overview. Okay. Uh, I'll be talking about this and how much time we may also think that if this programming language is coming, how much time it may probably take to replace Python. So we'll be talking about all those things. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end. Now, yes, about Mojo, a fire emoji. This looks like a Mozilla Firefox emoji, I guess. A new programming language for all developers. Uh, if I talk about Mojo, it combines the usability of Python with the performance of C, unlocked pa unparalleled performability of AI hardware and extensibility of models. Okay. Now, yes, this is basically saying it is just going to combine the usability of Python and the performance of C. So if you don't know with respect to C programming language, it is very, very fast, right? So that performance it wants to include in this programming language. To know more about the Mojo, right? I have just gone through this amazing, interesting article. Uh, this was in the theregister.com and we'll try to l read this guys. Please make sure that you watch this video till the end. We will be reading together because if you really want to understand something, it is better to learn everything about this, right? How it is advantage, what all, what all things are basically then based on this article, I was able to find out each and everything. Okay. So yes, be with me and let's, let's read this. I'll be reading in front of you and we'll discuss about everything that is mentioned over here. Okay. That is the reason why I'm saying you that if you really want to understand whether this can create a bigger impact in the future, please read along with me. Okay. Modular and AI startup with the above average technical cred has unveiled a programming language called as Mojo that aspires to combine the usability of Python with the speed of C. So it is basically going to combine the usability of Python. Not It is not going to take Python and probably take C separately and combine them. No, usability, right? And with the speed of C, and it is basically going to create this new programming language. So as you all know, Python programming language, basically many people say that it is slow. And obviously it is a little bit slow when compared to programming language like C, C++, right? So if we are able to get all the features with respect to the Python, like modular coding, with respect to all the things it has, all the functionalities it has, and with the speed of speed, obviously this will lead us to train our AI models very fast. It will be able to help uh, us to even develop our application very much quickly. Okay. So there are numerous ongoing projects to make Python faster. It is not like this is the first time it is coming, right? There are many things. They are like JAX. Uh, if you don't know about JAX, it is a high performance array computing. You know, it provides you API, uh, which will be able to do all the numerical computation very much quickly. So I will also be providing this link. You just need to probably install it in this way. And you, this, you can do it in CPU, GPU and all. CPU also it will try to use the uh, cores, like what are the default cores that you specifically have. It will try to use that to do any numerical competition. And if I talk about machine learning, deep learning, internally, those are all about numerical competition, right? Now, JAX was already there. Along with this, uh, you can also see that there is also a recent compiler called as Codon. If I open Codon over here, so Codon is what? Codon is a high performance Python compiler that compiles Python code to native machine code. So directly it is compiling the Python code to the native machine code. And once it does that, obviously the execution will uh, increase, right? So here it is basically saying 10 to 100 times faster, right? On just a single thread, right? So this is the thing about that, right? And one more programming language. I have always made a playlist on that, like Julia, right? So Julia programming language, they also say that this is very, very fast. And obviously it is fast, right? Uh, and this is also an open source programming language. This will be super helpful for visualization, data science. And this is in the advanced stage, right? People are able to do many, many things with this. And the community with respect to Julia programming language is also increasing, right? And many people were initially saying that can Julia replace Python? 
and still python is the favorite right now right julia has some good amount of packages open source libraries and all but python it has a huge huge libraries right so still if julia also wants to overcome python programming language it is going to take time because the fan following of python is too much right with respect to companies research and many more things right so yes people are also using julia i have also explored julia but still it is going to take time to overcome them right and it is going to take time a lot of time basically because uh, when i see the number of packages and compared to julia and python programming language there is a huge difference okay uh, when i say packages i'm talking about libraries okay now these are already there right but what is so special about mojo okay so mojo managed to distinguish itself from python enhancement efforts through the extremity of its alleged acceleration that it is trying to make when compared to python this will be 35000 times faster than python and this is the main key term right and because of this what i also feel that yes if mojo comes in the future this can really really replace python but again there are some more things that i really want to talk about you know because directly you launch a programming language and cannot replace python over there python has lot of different functionality still right we'll talk about that okay but it is saying that okay fine 35000 faster than python and here also in the documentation you can see like uh, with re with respect to combined with other programming language over here python 3.10 scalar c++ it is 5 5 5000 times faster than python and when i talk about mojo it is 35000 faster times right so this is the basic difference and this is what is the most interesting thing right now when running numerical algorithms such as now uh, thanks to the hardware acceleration and uh, pedigree of ceo chris latner so chris latner uh, uh, is the ceo of this modular and uh, he had basically announced about this specific thing now latner uh, developed something called as llvm compiler tool chain okay so this is based on the mlir compiler infrastructure what is mlir mlir if you don't know multi level intermediate representation and because of this only that 35000 uh, times faster when compared to the python is basically happening because of this compiler okay mlir okay and if you don't know guys uh, latner is also he has also developed this swift programming language the swift programming language is famous because it is very very fast right so this is the overall idea behind this and if you don't know how this mlir compiler works you can definitely read an article over here how things are basically there all the links i will be trying to give in the description of this particular video okay now there are two major things that are coming up okay so this year uh, old startup this week announced two related projects one is mojo a programming language built on top of python that performs the performance of c so you have something that is a, like a super set of python it will try to build all the features that are available in the python along with that it will try to build some more additional features uh, uh, when compared to the python along with that what it is going to do it is going to take the speed of performance of c right so obviously if you have that kind of programming language it is obviously very very good right and the second thing that it is developing is something called as modular inference engine now modular inference engine is to run ai models less expensively in production and this is specifically required what i believe right uh, because right now if i really need to train a model it is taking time right just with the help of python by using libraries like tensorflow or pytorch but with this modular inference engine it will be able to run ai models less expensively in the production okay so in short it is saying that mojo combines the parts of python that researcher love with the system programming features that the use of c c++ and cuda okay now this is the overall thing you can probably read about this the main thing is about the mlir okay that is what is basically mentioned over here with respect to this so this will be super super amazing now whenever i talk about this right we will uh, just go through this documentation and there are a lot of documentation for this you know if you really want to uh get this access you can just apply it right now it has just announced it if you say play with mojo over here you just go ahead and fill your information i have just filled it they will provide you probably if you, if you get the access they will provide you some jupyter notebooks to play with right but at the end of the day this looks absolutely good uh with respect to a new programming language which has that python qualities and all and they have some examples right of this kind of code see in python in mojo how different it will look like and one more thing is that over here since it is a superset of python right it will also be able to access the different different libraries 
But now my main takeaway, what is the main takeaway in this specific thing is that can it replace Python? See guys, many people initially when Julia came, they were saying that it will replace Python. It will do multiple things. It can replace multiple. It can do, uh, you know, that is the basically the future. But understand one thing, guys, right? Uh, in this mojo, right, there is a very important statement that has also been written. The features that are going to add, get added in this mojo is going to take time, right? And how much time? I don't know. Till then, let's say after two to three years, it is going to take time to add up all the features in this mojo. So after two to three years, don't you think some more new invention, something new may come up, right? If everything goes fine, yes, it has a chance that we as a data scientist, as an AI researcher, we may use this for doing many things, right? There are also other programming languages like MATLAB, there are R, there are Julia, where people are also specifically using. But when I talk about using a programming language, I'm talking about worldwide, like maximum percentage of the people, even in companies, industries, they should be using it, right? What I feel is that, yes, it this can be an impact. It can create an amazing, amazing uh, advantages for the AI developer. But yes, I feel it will take time. Okay, it will take time. So don't worry, whatever process, because I was just getting hundred of emails where people are saying, Chris, should we stop learning Python programming language? Similar in the case of Julia, they had said me once, uh, similar in the similar way, right? So don't worry, just uh, focus on your learning pattern, focus on your study pattern. When things are going to happen, it will come. At that time, you just need to update because this is almost a superset of Python. You will be able to use the Python libraries itself internally and all, right? So yes, uh, this was more about the Mojo programming language. I will be providing you this amazing link. You can read about this. Everything is very much clear and short over here. But my my main point is that yes, this can replace in the future, but it is going to take time because Python has a very huge community when compared to Julia, when compared to other things, right? So just to replace that community and move it to a something else, it will take time, okay? Um, yeah, this was it for my side. I hope you like this particular video. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. Take care.